Hey everyone, welcome back to Saturday Morning Toy Tunes, the weekly live stream on my channel in which we all gather around the modern day campfires of our computer monitors and our iPhone screens, whatever, and talk about some stuff that happened in the Weekend Geek. I am Terry Smith, the host of the show, and I'm running behind today. Uh, I've got a lot to do today. Also, um, that means that uh, this is going to have to be a very short show. I've got a hard out at like, I don't know, 10 15, 10 30, something like that, because I have a physical therapy appointment because I got my knee operated on. So that's going really well, by the way. Uh, usually during this show, I will do at about the 45 minute mark a, a segment called Three Strikes, in which I highlight some of the uh, poses that were posted up over at the Poser Posse Facebook group. Today, given the short amount of time that we have, I'm going to delay that until next week, in which I will feature six strikes from uh, uh, for in, the, in next week's episode. So I'll get all caught up, but I just don't, I, I need to shave some time off of the show today. Uh, so that's one of the ways that I've chosen how to do it. Another way is that I'm not going to actually show every comment in the uh, in the chats. So sorry for that, um, for people who are disappointed by that. But I just really want to get to posing these guys, which would typically happen at the top of the hour. But I'm going to try to get to try to start posing on those at about 9:45 my time. Uh, this is Plo Koon by Sideshow, and this is a Wolfpack Trooper by Sideshow. And I'm going to just kind of throw together a quick De Detoff shelf. I'm using those two figures as well as the already posed up Commander Wolf that I have constantly on my desk, mainly just so I can use it on occasion to taunt Commander Green because I know how badly he wants that figure. Um, looking at it right now, I can see that mine has a little bit of a break in it that I'm going to have to repair. It happens As it happens, I know how to repair that, that particular break. That might be the subject of a video. So, things to talk about this week. I really don't have anything. I mean, we had a great Bad Batch episode that I think is the shortest episode of an animated Star Wars show in anime in Star Wars animation history. I could be wrong about that, but it seems like 20 minutes was awfully short, but a lot happened in that show. So at least they accomplished everything that they set out to do. Um, I had an idea for a poll, but it's momentarily escaped my mind. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and move on into the comments. See who's here. See who's hanging. Wow. A lot of people here today. I guess that when you break out the classics, it brings all the posers to the yard. Apparently. Wow, I look decidedly disheveled, more so than usual. That's saying something. Uh, Steve Nara is here. What's up, Steve? Good to see you from Virginia Beach. Universal Key is here as well. What do we got here? Luis out in California. Beautiful poser family. Man, you're too kind. You're too kind. A hot Plo Koon show. I don't know what that refers to, but uh, but I'm sure that it's something funny. Morning, Terry. Great work on the Thor first look. Thank you very much. Oh, I should have brought that out. It's still set up on the table in there. Maybe I'll drag that out later if we have the time. Um, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder. I, I still have over the shoulder. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you can see above my thumb here the um, the 501st Trooper hanging out back there and his um, awesome running pose that I was able to hit without using any... I don't even think he's sitting on the stand. I think the stand, the, the, the two curved parts that form the groin grabber support, I think that they're actually not even holding him up. I think he's just leaning up against that post, if I'm not... if I remember correctly. Laura Keelis is here. What's up, Laura? Kenny Moriera is here. He wanted a Kenny wanted a I think Kenny wanted a Marvel show today or a DC show or something anything other than Star Wars show. Sorry, Kenny, I I am a I'm a Star Wars collector. It's going to be very hard the, the the Marvel or DC stuff being featured on the show. It's going to be very infrequent. Probably only I don't know three or four times a year, if that. So sorry for that, but uh, unfortunately I had to walk away from collecting Marvel. My tea is done. Bring. Earl Grey. And I'm going to try it without sweetener and cream today, because I just, in the interest of time. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> all right, Uber Dog, joining us today. Bad Wolf Media, all the way up from Quincy. How's it going? Good morning, my dominant heron. Are you German? Not with a name like that. Can't be decided it starts off with a wolf pack. True that, true that. But not a bad wolf pack. We'll see. Give me pancakes and bacon with you fine, fine people. I'm going to be a good morning. Good, good, good idea. I haven't had pancakes and bacon in years. I don't typically go for sweet breakfast, said the guy who's eating a donut. I had a wonderful banana cream donut before this. I'm glad I ate it first because I made a mess of my beard. Wow, 
This is actually really good without sweetener and, and cream. I may have discovered something marvelous here. Mm. I'm going to do something here really quick. That's not right. Not what I was looking for. I've been trying to figure out a way that I can do uh, polls while also um, while also monitoring the comments and everything. Hmm. I'm gonna have an interesting day today. I think I'm gonna. T I'm going I, first of all, I'm working diligently to get that damn Batmobile video done. I've had to basically remodel the entire studio to make it work, and it's it's a it's a stretch. It's really a chore to try to fit that massive thing into my camera lens. I've, I've, I'm basically, I'm legitimately shooting it on the floor. It's too big to do on the table because the background paper has to be eight feet wide. That's all. The, the, the only options for background paper are five feet wide and eight feet wide where I live. But, um, but it's massive. But the Batmobile video is coming along. Look forward to that being published, uh, the first look to be published by Sideshow on Monday. Um, God, I hope I didn't, they, they announced the Batmobile, right? Did I just give something away? Am I in trouble? <laughs> oh, man. I do have something else here that I absolutely cannot talk about, and it's I haven't opened it yet because I don't think my heart can take it. <laughs> oh man, um, unbestrich bar. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Big dog pound is here. The notorious BDP. What's up, dude? Making sure I don't skip anybody. I at least want to say hi to everybody. PRP is from, from Florida is here. Which part of Florida are you from? Did you tell me once? Is it Jacksonville area? I think I'm. I think I've. I think I've asked you that before, and you told me that I was wrong. That is something I have to check out. Is Fallout? Um, is the are all episodes out yet? Because that's kind of key for me. I, I don't like waiting week to week, so I'm, I'm waiting for all episodes to drop before I begin. It's bad enough that I've got to deal with those commercials in um, in Amazon right now. I'm in the middle of a binge watch of The Expanse. I'm up to season five, I think, and um, and the commercials just take me out of it. I don't have the attention span for it. I, um, I can't deal with it. Glad you're liking this. Of course you would. Clone troopers do like clones. Although sometimes in the Bad Batch it doesn't seem that way. Kumar's here. What's up, Kumar? Good to see you. Malaysia representing. Or representing Malaysia. <laughs> I know, man. I'm rude. I know. I know. Um... And my donuts. Toys, hair, and donuts. Yeah, it's actually been going really, really well, but since my... I think I've been pushing the, um... the physical therapy too hard. Um, because I'm... I seem to be regressing a little bit. So, um... Appreciate it, brother. Can't wait to... But I can't wait... I can't watch you open up Plo and that wolf pack. Oh. Like I said... Mean, totally taunting him. Christine Payne is here, bringing the pain. So is Marlon Braswell. What's up? That's awesome. Um, I learned something important about that X thing. That it's just a thing that's put there for emphasis, apparently. In the case of um, Spy Family. Um, yeah, Spy Family is um, spelled out Spy X Family, but the X is silent. <laughs> But it looks cool. I am not watching X-Men 97, but I am seeing a lot of people comment on it on social media about how great it's become. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I tried watching episode one and I, it, I just couldn't get into it. But we'll see. Um, I may have, if I have time, then yeah. Shadow Wolf Media is here. Bad Wolf Media and Shadow Wolf Media in the house. Um, uh, if, which dog? If you're talking about Piper, Shadow Wolf, I'm afraid we lost Piper um, a few months back. We uh, I finally had to escort her across the Rainbow Bridge. So she's no longer with us. Dobby's doing great. Uh, he, for some reason, he refused to eat his breakfast this morning. But that's probably just him being picky. I did give him some pizza crust last night. So either the pizza crust has him not feeling well, or he refuses to eat anything now that's not pizza crust. Which is entirely possible. Yeah, he's that way. <laughs> Who else is here? Keith Lee on a treadmill, I'm sure. My collective friends. Fact: If you click on the like button, it will also it will be it will feel like a good old crotch grabber on Terry Smith. The good kind. 
the good kind. You having a beer today? If you are, I might crack one open with you. Um, who are you asking? Me? Probably not. I don't drink. I don't drink a lot of beer these days. My drinks of choice are wine and cocktails. Um, that being said, I am planning on going to my favorite bar slash restaurant in St. Louis, the Royale, um, to sample a couple of their new cocktails today. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be raising a glass at some point. We'll see. Is it me or does my hair look better since I fl fluffed it? No. I'm using this great stuff in it that my estranged wife sent me. Um, I can't remember the name of the company or the name of the product, but it's by that guy Jonathan from Queer Eye. Which I've never watched, but I know who he is because he did a, he did a great he did a great online series called Gay of Thrones, in which he's his character is a hairdresser who's styling the hair of um, of a celebrity of the week, a comedian of the week, so we'll say, and they do it. It was the response to it was basically a response to every episode of Game of Thrones, and they had great nicknames for uh, for everybody, like. Um, Oh, like like uh, Sandor Clegane was Dog the Bounty Hunter, um, and um, and Arya was uh, Little Baby Case Stew, <laughs> Baby Crispin Stewart. That's it. And uh, it's it's you have if you haven't watched it, it's really really worth it. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, then um, yeah, their comedic take on everything is just hysterical. Re really short, like ten minutes, I think, every episode. So it's it's an easily digestible thing. But if you're into laughing, if you like funny things and you like Game of Thrones, then you probably will, will like this. But yeah, he. But this guy Jonathan has his own hair product company now because he has fabulous hair. And um. And uh, that's what I use on my hair now. It's just like this goop, this creamy goop. Actually, it kind of looks like semen. <laughs> but I uh, just run it through my hair and let it dry, and that's all that I do with it. <clears throat> hair care tips. I love when men talk hair care. Eh. Oh, that's funny. Let's see if I'm missing anybody here. Better troll. Got you, got you. Oh, are you serious? This is the thing that's happening? That's really irritating. Thanks for letting me know. I'll look into that. I'll fix that. I wonder if it's something I could fix mid-show, but let's just go ahead and say... Yeah, because that's that's irritating. I'm, I'm, from what I understand, the uh, the commercials will play if you're not if you don't pay for YouTube Premium. I think that's what I was told by somebody by somebody else who has a YouTube channel that, and if even if I opt to even on, even programs videos where I opt to not monetize it, commercials will still play. It's just that I don't get any money from it. Um, actually, I think it was. Oh, what's his name? Jetta Patrol. I think it was Jetta Patrol that told me that. And that that's a guy that probably knows his... Um, that's a guy that probably knows his YouTube. Definitely better than I. So, um, yeah, but I'll, I'll look into that. Thanks for... Keith, um, who else was it? Uh, BDP. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm surprised that you guys aren't... Um, aren't on YouTube Premium, so maybe that's not what the case is. Shane Fogarty's here. Dude, you gotta bounce, man. It's... Uh, yeah, that's, that's a solid... You get a you get a solid E for effort on that one, because I know it's late in Aussie. Kitty Tara, who's Kitty? T oh, Kitty Tara, what's up, Tara? Love a good kitty. Huh. Okay. Renz. How's it going, man? Love that little thing you did showcasing your art in black and white. You should be following Renz Tolentino, people, if you're not. I, I know I keep saying that every week, but it's true. Phoebe has gotten spoiled and won't eat her normal kibble. Is this since she was over here? Did I do that? Am I responsible for spoiling your dog and making her not eat her normal kibble? Yeah, because I, I, I pretty much... She wouldn't eat her kibble when she was here, really. Not that I can remember. Um, I pretty much just gave her nothing but the wet food. Windman's here. What's up, dude? That's it. 
that's it. It's Jonathan Van Ness, and, and the line of product is JVN. Is he from Quincy? That's interesting. I was sad to hear that he was HIV positive. That's, um, I mean, that's a much more manageable condition now than it was before, but I, I really hate that for him. It's, um, it's not a, it's not a disease that I want anybody to get. Almost anybody <laughs> to get. <laughs> Something about Mary hair. Yeah, it uh, looks like semen and equally effective. Hmm. Jazzy's here. What's up? How's it going, man? What are my thoughts on the new Clone Wars Anakin? I love it. I love it. I know that the, um, and the, I think it's a re-release of the original Anakin with the staff. It is not. It is not. If you, if you eagle eye photos of both of them, uh, you will notice that every aspect of that costume is different. Um, so, I mean, I think the cut and sew, the tabards are of a different length. Um, the pauldrons are a different sculpt. The head is definitely a different sculpt. So, no, I'm, I, if there are elements that are similar or the same or identical to the original release, it would have to be things like the lightsaber um, accessories would probably be the same. Um, but I don't even know that. They, they're, Hot Toys is really, they won't, if there's, they won't do a repaint if, if the situation doesn't call for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> That being said, uh, yeah, I, I freaking love it. I love the portrait. I love the, the facial expression that they did. Um, my memory, and I actually went back yesterday and, and checked out that episode to see how often he was wearing that, that expression. And it was quite often. There were moments where he had a more serious expression on his face, especially when going into battle and whatnot. But I, I for one, celebrate their choice to do the portrait like that. I think it's going to make a great... It's really going to break up the Anakin displays. You got serious face, serious face, serious face, cocky face, serious face, serious face. That's really what that's really what it's going to look like. Um, so yeah, I welcome the Dobby's Dobby's pouting. I think. Yeah, he went into the bedroom. Sorry, Dobby. Um, yeah, I, I really celebrate it. I think that that diversity in uh, in terms of exp facial expression is a welcome thing. Same with Ant Man. I mean. Um, Love it or hate it, whichever whichever direction you lean towards, I think that uh, I think that it was a bold choice to go with that smiling expression, considering how many Ant Man figures they had with different portraits of Scott Lang and all with the same expression. Um, it encourages people to buy more figures too, I, which is which is fine. Anything that anything that uh, gets the hobby pumping, I, I'm all for. Much as I to take money away from careers, ads on you to play if you have a good ad blocker or two like I do. That's solid. That's interesting. Good man, good man. Okay, next time you're out here, next time you're here, you gotta try this dry hair mask that I love. I haven't been on in a while. No, you haven't, actually. That's a valid point. That's a valid point. I, speaking of which, Games Mike, the wife of Games Mike, um, actually uh, friended me on Facebook and uh, chatted with me a little bit on, in Messenger. And she's um, she's really super cool. In fact, she, I think, yeah, Mike, you've done really, really well. She really, really, really digs you. And I think um, I think it's good to have a partner that supports your hobbies of choice and celebrates your happiness. Uh, that's not something I really had. No pity comments in the comments. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. It is 9.36. Let's get rolling here. Um, actually, I'm going to do this. Uh, five minutes. Where's this? All right. Let's hit the polls. So which one should I pose up first? You guys have five minutes to decide. I'm gonna keep doing um keep doing commentary here. Uh, I have not watched Shogun again. Just like with um with Fallout, I'm waiting for all episodes to drop before I send my money to Hulu and binge watch them all in like one night or something like that. Something obnoxious like that. We'll just say one weekend. Um, that's really the goal. But uh, but because I know that I know that this show is excellent. And I'm so excited for it. I've been excited since the trailer dropped, um, but I've waited this long. I think I can wait eight weeks until every episode is um, is uh, is live. That poll is showing, right? Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, Wolfpack is in the lead. 
60, 64. Wow, it's bouncing around. That's really fun. I love this. Hmm. Okay, cool. Let's see, back to the comments as that continues to roll. Terry gonna do a speed run. This is really good. This that's really what this is gonna be. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm not sure I support, I just tolerate it. <laughs> yeah, but even that's something. You know? Let's hit the bowl so it's understand. Now I have to Huh. Yeah, I, I should have I should have worn shorts so I could have shown you guys the injury, but I do have my jeans on. Um, yeah, the swelling has gone back up. I, fortunately, I bought myself a really killer um, ice pack slash compression wrap uh, for my knee. Um, I came in pretty late in the day yesterday, so I've had it on and off all night. Oh shoot, I think I forgot to put it in the um, forgot to put it in the freezer before back in the freezer before I started the show. Oh well. Yeah, Mitchell, that's uh, the three-body problem thing was something that uh, that actually Steve Nara reminded me of in Facebook last night, and um, and I could I completely forgot about it. The gentleman I'm not familiar I don't think I'm familiar with. Um, is that Ewan McGregor? Is that the one with Ewan McGregor? I think that's the one with Ewan McGregor. If so, that is that is actually on my list of things to watch. Um, again, I'll get around to all things. I hope if I ever stop doing things like binge watching The Expanse in its entirety. <sighs> God, such a great show, people. If you haven't watched The Expanse and you love sci-fi, then, man. Oh, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, I can't get it wet um, until the stitches come out. I think two weeks after the stitches come out before I can actually get the wound wet. Um, not sure why, but uh, okay. Yeah, like they don't even want me to put any Neosporin on the Band-Aids. I'm down to just Band-Aids now. I took the compression wrap off. That thing was annoying. Anyway, where are we at right now? Plo Koon edging out. Wow. With a late victory, Plo Koon takes the prize. Sure that was, I'm sure that was rigged. Sure that was rigged. That's fine. I don't think he has his lightsaber. That is correct. He does not have his lightsaber. So that'll be easy. <laughs> Can't do a whole lot of action poses without the lightsaber. I cannibalized this figure for the light for the lightsaber so that I could use it with um oh the uh the kit bashed original clone that I did called Reaper. Uh who is I, there may be people who, who are here who are unaware of Reaper. But uh Reaper is an original clone creation of my own from back in the days when Sideshow was doing was planning to do a line of all original clones by different artists that they work with or that they were friends with or what have you. Kind of like what they did with R2-D2 and with those C-3PO busts even more recently than that. Um, but somebody just didn't follow through on it and it just never really became a thing. Also, I think at the time, the artists weren't really keen on clones. Um, the artists were all of the generation that were adults when the prequel trilogy came out and they didn't they didn't appreciate any of the clone stuff at the time. Um, the clones weren't getting the same level of love, so I don't think there was a lot of enthusiasm for it. Um, but I want to go ahead and see if I can find a photo of Reaper, because I'm really proud of him. Reaper is the... There we go. How many of them do we have? Reaper is a clone who was with the wolf pack, who was present when the was on the ground when the uh, the clones shot down Plo Koon's uh, Jedi starfighter and his um his chip didn't quite work the way that it was advertised let's see this there we go that might be too dark so I'm gonna bring up another one here that's better okay um, so he didn't really take it too kindly to it. He was one of the clones that actually went to the to the wreckage of Plo Koon's fighter, and and confirmed the death of the Jedi of of Plo Koon. Uh, while he was there, after the death was confirmed, he surreptitiously took Plo Koon's cloak and his uh, lightsaber and kept them. And over time, as the um, as everything transitioned into the as the Empire transitioned to the Stormtrooper program. Uh, he kind of became a one man. Let's just call him the let's just call him the Punisher of the Star Wars galaxy, 
because he was single-handedly taking on entire platoons of stormtroopers and wiping them out. He became like a boogeyman, a story that um, a story that stormtroopers, veteran stormtroopers, would tell to new recruits to mess with their heads and just uh, and just have fun with them. Um, but in reality, um, he was uh, he was just an absolute badass. Uh, Shadow Wolf Media is leaving. That's very cool. Uh, anyway, but enough of that. Let's while we're talking about plo while we're talking about Reaper, might as well bring him up, right? Um, I think it's Reaper one. Yeah, that's the one. And this is Reaper, if it ever comes up. There we go. And yeah, there, yeah, there. You can see that he's got Plo Koon's lightsaber hanging from his belt. All those weapons I basically created out of just parts. I cannibalized parts from different six scale weapons, um, and uh, and just created original weapons for him to carry stuff that, stuff that we hadn't seen before. You can see he's got a stormtrooper belt on there. He's got he's cannibalized a, a belt from a stormtrooper because something must have happened to his original one. He's wearing his wolf pack armor. Um, again, that's painted by me. Um, and that actually that cannon right here. That is an actual six scale replica of the of the Vulcan cannon in a um from the nose of a F-16 fighter jet that has been modified for a for a for a six scale figure that came out years ago from a video game, I think. And he um it you can actually take the hand off of the uh, six scale figure and jack it into the uh, in, inside into the inner workings of that gun so that he's wielding it like it's an arm cannon. It's really, really awesome. I genuinely love it. I think Reaper's put away right now, but at some point, maybe I'll maybe I'll bring him out again. Anyway, so without further ado, we'll pull that out of here and let's go ahead and start opening Blow Coon. I always open my sideshow fix from the bottom. I don't know why. <clears throat> uh, yes. Yes, there there are there are stimulation sessions going on. I'm going to these therapy sessions three times a week, and um, and it's very very helpful. Incidentally, my therapist is hot. If you're watching, Megan. Okay, let me see here. Oh. Okay, I have. Put Plo Koon's, I've just placed Plo Koon's robe over the figure. Nope. So what do we think? Robe or no robe? I actually think the robe detracts because it's not the best down, it's not the best downscaled material. And especially in this case, it's really, really wrinkled. Um, I remember back in the day when the, these were the hot thing in Star Wars six scale collecting. And, <coughs> excuse me. And, um, People were, in order to get the robes to fall properly, they would have to do the water treatment, which is basically getting the robe wet, putting it on the figure, styling it the way that you want, and when it dried, you'd have a nice looking, you know. Yeah. Let's just see what's in here. Hands in a stand. I'm gonna need that stand, so I guess I will open this. He's got a communicator with him also, and what looks like a hollow emitter, but it's really small. Sometimes the scale of these things didn't really come out properly back then. They're, this is pre-Hot Toys, you know, before Hot Toys really raised the bar on the game. And um, so, you know, we're good enough was good enough. You know, it's, and frankly, good enough is no longer good enough in the, in the six scale game these days. So, uh, yeah. If anybody has that sort of an attitude, that, 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 that attitude should probably change if you want to stay competitive. Um, hmm. Yeah, that'll do for now. I think... Oh, no! Be right back. Got to fetch something. The stand is missing also from this figure. 
dusty. It's really dusty. I had this on display somewhere, not sure where. It's been ages since I had it on display, so this is my first time laying hands on it in a while. No, man, I'm, I was actually, um, where's it at? No, I, I was actually heading off to get a little, uh, little groin grab. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's on him. Look at that. There it is. <laughs> Terry is lazy. I didn't even bother taking the waist clamp off of him when I packed him away. Actually, odds are that this was, that this figure was last packed away when I was in the middle of a move or possibly when I was leaving Sideshow. Um, so I was you know how it is when you're packing things for a move. It happens quickly. All right. Oh, I should end that poll, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's get that out of there. Maybe. I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, well. I guess I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Anyway, all right, so yeah, thoughts on this. Sideshow did a great job on this, and you can see that I'm just kind of fussing with the belt right now just to get it right there at mid-level. I want to say there should be another pouch on there too, but it seems to be missing. There's a theme to this. All right, let's go ahead and hide that. Um, God, I wish he had a lightsaber. This would look so much cooler with a lightsaber. So the thing about these old, and I want to say this was still done on the OG um, Sideshow body, which are, you know, again, it was a product of its time, but these were sub $100 figures back in the day. Um, so again, you, you kind of get what you pay for, though. Like this head is not on a double ball jointed neck. It is on a single ball jointed neck, which, which makes it very difficult to do some of the things that I like to do when I'm posing my figures. Uh, like get the head in a good place there you go bitter troll no break in the boots too that's another thing back then the uh yeah everything was just basically simple this is this exists somewhere between modern hot toys and early kenner hasbro um probably right at about the midpoint but still the, especially from a distance the head sculpt really holds up um, I think that I can hide this waist grabber support better by putting it, sliding it up underneath this, um, this cummerbund. That helps out quite a bit. And I'm kind of regretting my decision not to put the robe on him. But again, the costume elements are the really the, are really the, the shiny part. It's hard to pose these things. Well, it really is. God, like that's not even, I, I don't even qualify that as a pose, but I don't, I don't know. Cause this has to be, these things don't do well in museum poses. Let's say, let's say that. Um, you have to have at least some kind of action going on with your action figure. So maybe it's, maybe it would look better. Try this. What time is it? 9:51. Yeah. Because if he is going to be chill, then having his robe on would hide the fact that his. Oh yeah, that's right. His is a very unique robe. It's like double-breasted. So I'm liking this idea less and less. <laughs> oh, mean. Okay, let's get that up. Slide this over. Where's that snap? If you're British, if you're if you're British, then it's poppers. Uh, I think, right? And this comes over here. Where's the popper? There we go. Again, this comes down here and this probably needs to be tucked away there's a there's a little slip of fabric up there that just looked obnoxious 
and just leave that hood hanging out. See how I cut that hood? I'm not sure that that's what that's supposed to look like, but. All right. Yeah, I think it did look better with the robe off. But for our purposes here, I think that it will benefit by having, like, let's go ahead and put his hands inside his robes and cross his arms. Will it do it though, is the only question. The performance of these bodies is just really substandard. It wasn't long after this that they came out with the Prometheus body, which I'm trying to think of figures that would have had the pro body on them, but um, yeah, it's been so long, I can't really think of any. Wow, this is really hard. There you go. Get your hand in there, get your arm in there. Wow. Six scale, my friends, has come a long way in. What is this? 15 years. 15 year old figure. That would be interesting if they had, if it's been confirmed or refuted one way or the other. Um, I don't, are we done seeing Jedi return from the dead? I hope not. I still long for the return of Mace Windu. All right, so let's go ahead and kill this. That is a lot of fabric, dude. It is so much fabric. Hey. Did you just say hi and bye, Anthony? He'll be back. Right? Yeah, I know. I had the same thought, but I didn't want to voice it aloud, so I just let you do it for me. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. I think you're right. There we go. That's when things started. Started. That's when they started elevating the game. And the pro body didn't last too long. Um, I want to say it only had like a couple, three years before they put, came out with another one that we saw on things like. Um, oh. Ash from Evil Dead, for one. Um, yeah, so that didn't last. That didn't last too long. Yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad when you get the robot on him and have him with his arms crossed. Let's go, let's go ahead and kill that. You can get this one cheap. <laughs> Maybe missing some parts. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. That's what I need to do, is I need to just go online and see if I can't find his lightsaber. All right, so let's move him aside. That's pretty much what we see happening in the, uh, in those great sardonic Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon videos. That's, um, that what's his name puts out. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Since I, when I have something, I don't really look look for it on the secondary market. Yeah, um, in fact, I considered I have a spray water water bottle in my bathroom. I considered just going to grab it and like doing a test, a live test, to see how it would work. See, he's kind of slouching, and I don't like that. I don't know if that's readily apparent, but let's spin him, see how that looks. Keep in mind that's at an angle. Nervous. Okay, that's him. So since we didn't do an action pose with uh, with Wolf, I'm guessing we shouldn't do an action pose with a... Uh... <laughs> I love showing this. Someday, and that day may never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But until that day, accept these as a gift. I haven't had a... He's never requested any service from me. Um... Kevin's actually working with um, the guys who make those, the spaceships that Polly is so fond of. Um, he left Sideshow a year or so ago and is now working with them, helping to develop those ships. Which is right up his alley. All right. I have four of these. Maybe greedy. Maybe greedy of me, but yeah. Such as it is. This is gonna take some time. Do I have the time? I don't have time to do anything grand. 
Um, so I'll probably just go with Jetpack, Blaster, and Museum Pose. If that's okay with everybody. Whoa! That's hot. Although it probably would be unlicensed, so we can't talk about that here. I'm going to take that down right now. We have rule of, number one rule here is that I can't talk about unlicensed stuff. And I can't talk about custom stuff. Especially in the sense that it's made for sale. Because um, it violates, as a, as a site to employee, it violates the terms of their license with the, the license holder. They, uh, yeah. And I think the general understanding is that that sort of thing has the potential to damage the brand. And that's the concern on the part of the license holder. So. Uh, let's see, I need a gun hand. Are the gun hands over here? They are. That's handy. Mm -hmm. Are there support hands? There are. Okay. It's been so long since I messed with the sideshow clone, I have no idea. Get that back up. What are we doing? Wow, so many. Oh, Luis just joined us. What's up, dude? Eh. Lost his head. Not the best fit. But still great. Shit, I hate it when I drop things. Okay, I'll be right back. I, I especially hate it when I drop things when I have a messed up knee. But it's probably good for me to exercise it a little bit. I've become really good at catching things that my hair ca that my hair snags as I'm walking by. <laughs> it's I recognize the signs fairly early on. Uh, knee hurts a lot today. The painkillers that I was on initially that made me feel superhuman, um, those were only good for five days. And now they switched me to a lower, lower strength of painkiller. And I don't like it. <laughs> I want my good painkiller back. Okay, so museum pose. Let's see, which direction is this thing heading? There we go. I'm gonna go low on that and bring it up here. Look how big that DC-15S is, man. Massive. But, it's what we got. I love it. Boy, that is just not grabbing. I think the armor, the helmet is colliding with the armor and making it very difficult to keep it on. At least I hope that's what it is. I hope that the joint, I may have to use some heat shrink tubing on this head joint eventually. Yeah, that's not going on there at all, is it? No, it's not. It's not even reaching. All right, so let's do this. Gonna shift his hips back this this way, I think. And that'll bend that leg a little bit. Turn that, rotate, rotate, and get on that stand, buddy. Jetpack, jetpack. All right, and there we go. Why does that keep? Why does that keep coming up? God, it's gonna get me in trouble. All right, and last but not least, pre-posed for the purposes of of mock of not mocking but uh, teasing Harold Green. There we go, and that makes for a sweet dead top shelf. Oh, he's really, really lost sight of his Let's fix that. I think that's better. 
Boom. Done and done. How tall is Plo Koon in universe? Didn't realize he was so tall. Um, yeah, don't rely on this figure for a, for a reference to that. I think that at the time, especially, the goal was um, just make him 12 inches. That's it. I don't think that they really did much with height. Rune Samuelson, Samuelson is here from across the water over there in Sweden or Norway. I'll never get it right, Rune. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the way to put it. Not too shabby. Thank you. Wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be awesome? But, but until then, this is what we've got. I, I have questions about Wolf's helmet size. Feels like it's a little on the small side. Um, but maybe that's just me. It could just be a perception thing. Oh no, dude. They're still in pieces down in the basement. I, I honestly just... I have plans for them, but... I get distracted. Okay, thank you. I will remember that from now on that it is Norway. Thank you, I promise. It only takes like three times. It reminded me. She's very nice. I like her. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> um... Oh, that's right. That's right. The, the, the clone bodies were actually a, um, a collaboration between the people at uh, Hot Toys and Sideshow. Um, you might even call this a test run for Hot Toys when they started doing their own um, their own clone figures. Um, there's a lot of similarity between uh, between the side the Hot Toys clone and the, side, and the Sideshow clones in many many ways. Let's see, this has to be twisted differently. How's the other one looking? Anyway, it is now 10.04. All right, let's wind this down. Um, wow, I did have time for a uh, for a three strikes. I just didn't know it. Now, I don't think that these are actually going to go into a detox because, like I just said to, I think that these are just going to get broken down and go back in their boxes. Um, well, there he is, showing up just in time for us to leave. <laughs> Nothing personal, Michael. And sorry that this isn't a Spider-Man figure as you requested, but I had to go with what I could find in a hurry. Um, I only have one Spider-Man, and it's actually posed up over there, but I don't know where his box is, so I wouldn't be able to get the accessories. Uh, I think. I, the other, the other Spider-Man that I have is Spider-Man 2020 suit. He's currently hanging out on the Yaibaku Sanagi bike in my studio, so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna break that down. That's just too cool of a setup. Um, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and end this now, because, uh, and, wow, the shortest stream of all time. Because, again, for those of you who are joining us late, I have a, I have a PT appointment that I have to get to at the top of the hour, and I still have to change and, um, and do a couple things like take Dobby for a quick walk before I go. Because uh, I don't know how long I'll be gone. <laughs> Love the suit. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Can't wait to see that. Anyway, guys, thanks again, as always, for joining me and uh, participating in my, my hobby. And, um, I don't know, giving me validation. Playing with action figures with me, what have you. I'm actually considering um, occasionally having channel members as guests on the show periodically. So if you are a channel member and you're thinking, and, and that's something that you can do if you have a solid live stream set up, and, uh, and you'd like to participate in a Saturday, in an episode of Saturday Morning Toy Tunes, just talking, playing, having fun, then, let, then reach out to me. Let me know. Because, um, yeah, I would enjoy doing that. In, in fact, I don't even know that you have to be a channel member. If it's just something that you would like to do, then, then reach out to me and, um, and message and let me know. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm going to get ready to go to my appointment. And you all have a great weekend. Have a great week after that weekend. And I hope to see you back here next Saturday. Uh, meanwhile, don't forget to check out the Poser Posse Facebook group. If you've got a really awesome pose that you want to show off, do it there. And it might get showcased in next week's episode in the Three Strikes segment on the show. Uh, again, thanks as always for joining with me. And it's always been, it's always fun hanging out with you guys. And you always make me laugh, bring a smile to my face. I appreciate that. And I uh, hope you all have a great week. And until then, be good to your plastic. <laughs>